Hi guys, Ray with Haybegger here again. Uh, just going to go over a couple things on a two-stage gas furnace. Um, high fire, low fire. If you look at the data plate, you'll see what your high fire and low fire settings should be. 3.2 to 3.8. Low fire, 1.4 to 1.8. And that's going to be inches in water column for your uh, gas valve. Now where you're going to check your manifold pressure is going to be on the outlet side of the gas valve. This here is going to be your inlet. So this is going to be what your pressure should be coming from the street. Now the other information you can find on your data tag is this is a natural gas with an orifice number 43 and your gas orifices are going to be these orifices here that go into the burners. Max inlet pressure 13.6 minimum pressure 4.5 where you're going to want to watch for that is when you're checking your inlet pressure you don't want it over the 13.6 or under the 4.5. All right, so getting into the gas valve to check your inlet pressure, which is going to be the gas coming from the street. As I said, the fitting. And then you can just, it pulls right out. And of course, you want to make sure you shut the gas. stop off or with this being on the inlet side uh, you're going to get some gas coming out of there and so we have our adapter hooked up to our hose coming up into our dual port manometer now with the dual port manometer you're going to want to put it and make sure that it's on the positive pressure side not the negative pressure but the positive pressure side Come back on over to your gas stop. Turn your pressure on. Come in. And as you see here, we have 8.15 inches of water column. You can hook up on this side and watch your pressure as the unit fires. Um, and it shouldn't go down too awful much. And after checking our inlet pressure, we want to shut off our gas stop. Pull our adapter. Reinstall our plug. Turn our gas stop back on. Take our leak detector. Check for leaks. We can hit it with a little bit of bubbles to check for leak. Always make sure that that fitting isn't leaking before you leave. Now, checking the manifold side. Turn the gas stop off, take out our plug, don't drop the plug, it seems every, every time you drop something, if there's a hole around, it likes to go into the hole. And if you lose this plug, it, you're in trouble. Take your adapter, install it. Check that you're zeroed on your manometer. And again, this is a two stage. So we're gonna be wanting to watch for low fire, which is gonna be 1.4 to 1.8 inches of water column. So we're gonna test it in low fire. 
and then ramp it up to high fire to check to make sure it's in between 3.2 and 3.8. Once we verified that our gas pressures are good, I'm going to take off the adapter, take our plug, reinstall the plug. Make sure it's tight. And here again, we're also going to want to cycle the unit, check that your fitting's not loose. Or leaking. Now, if on this particular gas valve to adjust our low pro low fire is right in this area here. And so if you found this video helpful, uh, please like and share.